Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Dick. Let's continue our journeys. Episode 4 by Candlelight. No, they're gone. I can't lose that receipt book. I need it in order to find its author. What do you intend to do? Uh, I have a plan, but you're not gonna like that. I have a plan, and I need your help. My help? Yes, you've always been a perfect companion for adventures. Yes, true. We've been on several. Let's go after that garbage truck now, and you're gonna enter it. Let's go. What is it? Where are you going? You have to stay in charge of Mary Sue because we have to go to get something at the market. I don't like to be lied to in my face, but whatever. I'm getting back to work. Why did you interrupt me? I was going to tell her the truth. That is not a good idea. Sue hates lies. Well, exactly what you just did. If you lie to her already, it's too late. It's best if she never finds out. That's some strange logic. Let's go after that truck. Come on. Let's, let's go. That shower brought me back to life. Being both a handyman and a businessman is quite an adventure. Katie, what is that smell? That smell is me. I had to dive into a trust heap. Why are you doing that? The receipt book fell into the trust by mistake. I had to get it back. Well, did you? Uh, yes, yes. I'm so happy. I'm sorry, babe. We'll have to celebrate after you take a shower. I'm off to an important meeting now. Great, did you manage to install the lights? Not yet, I promise to do it when I get back. There's no rust, as long as we have running water, I'm fine. You sure need it. You can go take a shower, just look at how clean and handsome I look. Handsome and handy. You live with a quasi engineer, don't forget that. Would you give me a quasi kiss? I will when I get back. Well, I smell so bad, I can hardly be bear it myself. Wait, what is this? No running water again? What have you done, Adam? I can't stay like this. Emily, I'm without running water again. I need that handyman's number urgently. Did they leave you alone? You don't look too happy. It's not your business. I'm fine. I'm always liar. It's always liars who aren't. Or those who take me for an idiot like you. Who are you talking about? George, what's that smell? Where were you? Where is Katie? I dropped my watch into the trash and had to go fishing for it. I'd rather she said I don't want to talk instead of lying to my face. It looks like she got angry. It's not your business again. That's just Sue. She's as temperamental as she is talented. I'm a new weapon now. Hello, notebook. I missed you. Let's see. Did you watch the book too? So it will be at Bon Appetit. That's where I'll delight you with my creations. Bon Appetit, like in my dream. Could you? Could that be the name of a restaurant? I'm not sure. Yes, there are several restaurants with that name. Hi George, you have to come somewhere with me. I'll wait for you at the entrance of that gallery near Mary's at 6. 
How did the meeting go? Very well. How did it go here? I see you took a shower. Yes, and it was wonderful. I told you I'd fix it. Yes, whatever. I have to go now. I'm conducting an investigation. I'm about to find out who the author of the receipt book is. Did you find anything new? I dreamed about the name Bon Appetit and it turned out it did in the notebook. I think it must be the name of uh, the owner's restaurant. What Bon Appetit name? My girlfriend is Sherlock Holmes? Go on Han, the light will be installed by the time you get back. Great, see you tonight. Don't electrocute yourself, Adam. Right now, get into super repairman mode, Adam. The first restaurant I thought about had nothing to do with her. It says here that there's another Bon Appetit two blocks away from here. That chef might be a genius. But she didn't give her restaurant a very original name. Shut up and follow me. Strange, there was no restaurant at that address. Are you sure it was the right one? Yes, completely, but there's still one last possibility. Let's have faith, come on. Bon Appetit, it's closed. It looks rather empty. Maybe we could ask someone from the neighborhood. Flowers, fresh flowers to decorate your home. Excuse me, I'd like to ask you something. Do you know when Bon Appetit will open? This restaurant here? They closed many years ago. Do you know who the owner was? Why do you want to know? I'm gonna tell the truth. I need to contact her. I think I have something that belongs to her. They say the owner just disappeared one day. Some even say she committed suicide. What? That's horrible. Do you remember the owner's name? I'm not too sure. It was a short name, something with A or E. I'm sorry, kid. That's all I can say. You look very similar to the woman in my hallucination. I hope none of this was in vain. Sue already hates me for behaving so mysteriously. I'm sorry you, I got you involved in this. I forgot to tell you that Gustav went back to the restaurant. And just then I came back all dirty. What did you say? I made something up, but it all felt very weird. I'm not sure I can keep lying about all this. How do you feel? I'm frustrated, but intrigued. I'm very intrigued. Now questions just keep coming up. I want to keep looking for clues. We have to keep investigating. Could it be true that she committed suicide? The lady said these were just rumors. If it's a rumor, we have to verify it. I need to know if she's alive. What actual facts do you have? We know she used difficult ingredients like elder. Maybe we should find out who used this to sell elder in the country. That sounds pretty impossible. It all looks very difficult. You managed to lower my enthusiasm, George. Thank you for nothing. Are you sure? Great, thank you so much for this. Hey, hon. How is it your investigation going? Not very well. I'm pretty bewildered, to tell you the truth. I have two surprises for you. The old owner of the house was called Ava Flynn. How did you find that out? I asked Julia. 
I don't know if she's the person you're looking for, but it's something. Eva, maybe? A neighbor told me the restaurant owner had a short name. What else did they tell you? Just that she disappeared mysteriously. There's even a rumor that she committed suicide. Well, this is getting dark. Clef gave me a few clues about the recipe book ingredients. Now I need to find out where she bought the elder for example. Well, did you make some progress? Now come to the kitchen to see the next surprise. Tada! I installed the lights. Oh yes, it all exploded. I don't understand what happened. Don't worry, hon. I wanted to surprise you. Yes, I'm surprised already. Come on. And you did. You tried your best to solve it. And you also found out things for my investigation. But I ruined everything. No, you didn't. You always do things. That makes me happy. That what lights my day. I don't know. Adam is really bummed about this, the light thing. What could I do to cheer him up? A uh, romantic evening in the dark. How about if we turn this little mishap into something romantic? What are you proposing? Wait a moment and you'll see. You had a great idea, beautiful. One must, cre one must use creativity to light the flame of love. Let's not light anything else for now, just in case I don't want any more accidents, like burning the house. Calm down, it's over now. You always get what you want. I'm sure you will soon find the author of the recipe book. I hope you're right. Now I'm glad we had no electricity. We had a beautiful evening. Are you thanking me for causing a short circuit? I'm thanking you for always trying your best. I love you, beautiful. Hey, George. Listen. Adam found out that the old owner of the house was called Ava Flynn. Do you think she was the owner of Bon Appetit? I don't know, but we have to find out. I have a hunch. Something tells me it is her and that she's alive. Let's keep looking then. George, I need to talk to you for a minute. Can you come out? Sure. What the hell is going on in here? What are all the secrets you have with Katie? I can't keep hiding this from you. Listen, I'm doing a threesome with her. Not with him though. How are you there? Thank you everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you guys on our next journeys.